Hey everybody. Hello there. You know we've been in Florida for 14 months and we keep trying to bring you interesting things. We just want to uh, let everybody know that uh, I'm Jerry. And I'm Linda. And we're the village's newcomers. We don't really feel like newcomers much anymore. Not anymore. We've been here more than a year. Uh, but we learn new things every day and we uh, have a wonderful group of watchers out there that uh, look at our videos and send us emails and letters and, and we love to meet and talk with you all. And, and uh, today we're going to have a treat. We got a letter that uh, asked us if we could go back into the home of Mike and Mary Colseth from Minnesota. And we're going to talk to them about their new home in uh, Marsh Bend. And uh, we think you'll love what you see. While their house is finished, you can see that there is construction going on here. We had a difficult time driving in here for all the trucks. There's AC, there's pool and spa, there's window dealers. As we come on around. You can see plenty of construction still going on here. We had that uh, response from a viewer recently that said there was an adorable couple that you had on recently <laughs> and they were going on their design meeting and it's hard to believe but you've had that design meeting and you're already sitting in the kitchen of your beautiful new home. So this is Mike and Mary Colseth and they are from Minnesota and now they're living the life down here in Florida. They are going to be snowbirds and they're going to come back and forth, but they're here, they have a beautiful home, and we thought we would talk to them about that first design meeting and how that translated into this beautiful home. So thank you so much for having Linda and myself here with you today. Thank you. Our pleasure. And first, what date did you make your purchase? What date, if you remember, did you go to the design meeting? Design meeting, I remember, was October 15th. Purchase. Well, the October 15th we actually bought the house. The yeah. design meeting. We purchased a lot back in July. Yeah, that's it. And the next design appointment they had was until October. Yep, October 15th. So you went to the design meeting in October, and right now it's February what? 19th? 19. Mm -hmm. uh, so October, November, December, January, four months ago. We closed on February 4th. Yep. Two weeks ago today. So four months ago, your house was nothing more than an idea on a piece of paper. Correct. Wow. Yeah. And what village are we in? We're in Marsh Bend. We're, We're in, in the north end of it, getting close to the new uh, village of Deluna. Okay. Now, just recently, Linda and I took a tour on this, the uh, Street of Dreams, and uh, that's just very close to you here, isn't it? It's right around, Correct. It's, it's right around the corner. Right over down the blocker. Yeah. Okay. And that's beautiful. It backs up to, what do they call that? It's where Edna's on the Green is. Right, in the Lowlands Golf Course. Okay. The, the Lowlands Golf Course. Well, well, you've obviously done a great job picking things out. Mary has an eye. She's very similar to Linda. She likes the same colors. Um, I'm pretty sure that this little visit over here is going to cost me some things when, uh, when we go I back home. So. But, but it's beautiful. Now, tell us about that design meeting. What goes on? Well, we pretty much knew kind of what we wanted. So we went in there. They told us it'd probably take about a week to complete. And uh, it took us four and a half hours. Yeah, we, we had a pretty good idea. <laughs> yeah. We moved a few walls, changed a couple of rooms around a little bit, but for the most part, we had a pretty good handle we wanted. And, and we've been doing things like this for a long time, so the decision yeah. process wasn't that tough. Now, Mike, is, you're actually in the uh, business of window treatments and floor coverings. Correct. So top, ceramic you tile. knew what you were doing in, oh, in yeah. that regard, so you had a really good plan. And you had a pretty good idea what you wanted in terms of color scheme? Absolutely. I wanted nice and light and bright. We're from Minnesota. Dark. <laughs> and bright and sunny. Well, in just a moment, they're going to take us through their new home. But when you went into the design phase, does one person meet with you or is it a team? How does that work? We were, um, we, we, we met with just one person, uh, Nicole. And she was awesome. She Wonderful. just pretty much let us do what we wanted. And if we had a question, she answered it for us and kind of let us through it. She guided so, us through everything. Yeah, yeah. Did it start with you saying, okay, we want a 
what is this home? Mossy Oak. We want a Mossy Oak home. It did. Okay, you start with a Mossy Oak home. Then did you stick with the basic uh, layout of the Mossy Oak or did you stretch anything? We weren't able to stretch the width because of the width of the lot. We stretched the, uh, the garage out a few feet. And as you see, as we went to go through the house, we were able to stretch the lanai out. It's eight feet to start with. And we're able to add another eight feet. So it really turned out nice. Um, Changed a couple of rooms, changed the bathroom around, changed the laundry room, added a couple of feet to one of the bathrooms. But for the most part, we left it the way it was. Well, it doesn't sound like for the most part you left it the way it was. <laughs> well, I guess, you know, that's what I said to the designer too. And she said, most people do a lot of changing. Yeah. And um, after talking to the people around here, some of the houses are unrecognizable from uh, the original floor plan. Yeah. Now these furnishings in here, and we'll look at them when we take the tour in a little bit. But do when you have the design meeting, we don't know this because we bought a pre-owned okay. home. Do they give you a stock amount of dollars to spend? And if you upgrade, it costs more? Or do they give you, uh, you just tell them what you want and they add it up? Pretty much you, you tell them what they want and they add it up. It's, it's, it is pretty vague. They'll say this is standard and this isn't. They won't tell you this is $5, $10, $100 more. They let you. They give you the heart attack figure at the end of the at the meeting, <laughs> and um, we had a pretty good handle on what it was. We knew, you know, they, you know, the standard countertops are, are for mica, you know, with quartz. Uh, standard flooring is sheet vinyl and carpet in the bedrooms, you know, with luxury vinyl tile. So we had a pretty good idea. Other things like, um, let's say, faucets, and in your showers, and in your bathtub, and in your your kitchen. Those kind of things, did you choose those or were those, uh, you just pick out the finish? We choose, chose them, we, that one I have uh, at home and I love it. So I wanted the same thing. And then we went with the oil rub bronze. So all the fixtures are oil rub bronze. And there's, they, had, there's, they had some things to choose from. There's nothing you don't pick out. No, you, you pick out I mean, you everything. pick out, if you want the, Handles, the corners yeah. rounded or squared, you pick out the size of the base. Um, Pretty much right down to the light switches. Yeah. Well, on our tour, I know we'll see your, your refrigerator, beautiful, and your stove. Were those standard, or are those an upgrade? I don't, I don't remember. I think sure. they were a little bit of an upgrade. Not a lot. You know, when you're, when you're doing all these things, so many things get thrown at you. After a while, you go, you know. Uh, yeah, I think the refrigerator was a little bit of an upgrade because we wanted the two drawers. Um, other than that, I don't think there was too much that was upgraded. Okay. I really don't. Well, this home is, I mean, it's quite a beautiful home. I mean, Thanks. And it's your second home. So you're going to be living and operating half a year from Minnesota. Yes. And by the way, Mary is a master gardener. You should see <laughs> her home back in Minnesota. It looks like uh, the National Arboretum. Oh, stop. <laughs> it's, it's very beautiful. It's, it's a project. And I'm sure this will make a good... You know, we're the newcomers. I feel like we're, that's kind of wearing off the newcomer thing, but, but you're brand new, but I would like to come back in a year or two years and look at the landscaping. I'll bet. It's gonna change. Yeah, I'll bet yeah. that it's, it's gonna be quite beautiful here. That's something we did upgrade from day one. Um, at the design appointment, we met with a landscaper too and did upgrade a little bit of the landscaping, which it'll change too. But here, you know, we've got five acres in Minnesota. Here we've got a postage stamp. <laughs> There's only so much room to do so much. Yeah. Would you be willing to take us on a tour to see the, the uh, things you picked out? Absolutely. Okay. Okay, this is our front area, entry area, and I upgraded the door, of course, and I have my favorite color, aqua. And we'll continue with the aqua th throughout the house. Come on in. And this is the entry, of course. And it's still not totally furnished, but we're getting there. We've been only been here a couple weeks, so it's, it's coming. Um, to the right, we have a third, we call it the third bedroom and the bathroom. And it's kind of nice for guests because we can close the pocket door. They have their own bathroom and their bedroom, which the bedroom is not finished yet, but it's getting there. So it'll be very comfortable in here. I'm doing flamingos and they're coming. <laughs> and this is the walk-in closet. And we chose just to do the standard um, 
metal shelving. We, you know, you can really go bananas and have a really awesome sh uh, closet. But yeah, we're far we're part time people, so we don't need so much. Now we got Mike here talking about the outdoor area. Um, one of the things that we were really excited that we were able to do is it, ha it comes with an eight foot lanai. We were able to stretch it another eight feet. So the covered area is about 16 by 28. And the rest of it's about another 15 or 1600 square feet of the pool area. So we got pretty close to 2000 feet outdoor living area. And we carried, or I should say Mary did, the, um, I guess she calls it aqua, turquoise colors out to the swimming pool. And we were able to put a little beach area over to the left with an umbrella and two chairs. And we have a spa. And as you can see, there's some construction going on around our yard still, but that'll be done soon. And we can do some more plantings. We've got about another 20 feet from the end of the bird cage, pool cage area uh, out the back they'll be able to do some plantings for some more privacy. So this is just from a different angle. You can see our beach area and we have a pink flamingo that has been swimming in. Uh, it landed here four or five days ago. Uh, it hasn't got out yet, so we're gonna let it out here one of these days. Um, the pool cage, I guess I'm not exactly sure how tall it is, 15, 16 feet, and the area up here to the right i was concerned about snow getting caught on there <laughs> but i don't think that's going to be a problem so room for a grill room for a lot of we've got some more patio furniture coming out ordered uh, mary's got a couple plants a couple of lounge chairs some furniture just a nice area to be outside and grill and entertain and enjoy the 80 degree weather instead of the 10 below weather the door is Close. There's four panels. Each one clicks together. So when they're open, we have about a 14 foot door. So it kind of brings the whole inside, outside, outside, inside thing. Um, we actually haven't used the air conditioning quite as much just because you got the airflow coming through here. I think eventually we probably have a, maybe a screen door in the front help the airflow, but you know, a day like this, if we weren't able to get some air moved, we'd probably have the air conditioning on. That was a beautiful tour and a lovely home. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry. You must Thank be you. Uh, very proud of we the are. choices that you picked and, and excited. Uh, I'd like to ask you one final question. Sure. There are people every day, because when you drive here, I know you drive in and out of here every day, you see all the empty lots and like the picture I took outside of this one, there is construction going on everywhere. And an empty lot right next door to yours that a lady used, told me is getting ready to do her Correct. design visit. Is there any advice that you could give to people back home that are thinking about buying a lot or thinking about looking uh, or about the design visit or anything of that nature that you want to share? I think patience would mm -hmm. be one yeah. of the things. You have to accept the fact that you're going to be in a construction zone for a bit. Yeah. If you, um, there's going to be building next to us for a few months. One of the things about here though, when you're in their neighborhoods, it's a construction zone for a few months instead of a few years. Yeah. You go to most housing projects and you build a new home, it's a construction zone for several years. So don't expect immediate gratification. You're going to come in here and you're going to get your beautiful home, but it's it's going to be a, a little bit of a trial for a while. I don't mind it. Nope. It's just yeah, what, it's... You know, you, what you accept. You know, when you buy a pre-owned, the, the, the landscape is more mature, the neighborhood's more mature, everything's set. But we enjoyed kind of doing our own thing and yep. we get to pick out this, 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 everything. We really appreciate them letting us come in. Until next time. <laughs> we'll see you when you get here.